Trinidad, a UNESCO World Heritage Town along Cuba's south central shore. Rich in history, this 16th century town boasts excellent Spanish architecture, cobblestone streets, and fantastic museums. The National Museum of the Fight Against Bandits is one of the most interesting stops in the city. Located in the heart of the central square, the museum is located in a converted church and is a fantastic way to connect with Cuba's history, all while getting the best views in the city from on top of the bell tower. Cuba, like many countries before it, have fought for their freedom. It was people like Fidel Castro that led a movement to rally the Cuban people to break free of their Spanish control. Although the majority of Cubans agreed things needed to be changed, not all believed the communist way of life which Fidel Castro was preaching was the way to go about it. Good morning everyone. So today is our second day here in Trinidad. So far our plans have not uh, worked out. We were supposed to meet up uh, in the center square or so we thought to do a tour of the town today. Um, we were in the wrong spot or they never showed up or something. So anyway, we ended up going here to the museum. And so we're gonna take this opportunity to show you around here. Shortly after Cuba's liberation in 1959, a group of revolutionaries from the Escambray Mountains began a revolt that would last six whole years. This group rejected much of the Communist Party notions, as they wanted to remain in close ties with the Soviet Union, now Russia, primarily after the newly formed Cuban government took control of their farmland, demanding the crop for their people. This uprising caught the attention of several countries, including the Dominican Republic and the USA. The US sent CIA operatives to aid this newly formed militia, sent money and supplies to support their cause, but once again pulled out of the country after a major loss at the Bay of Pigs. With only 8,000 members, the rebels were no match for Fidel's army of over 250,000. Today, the museum stands as a testament to the people of Cuba, at least those that stood with Castro. It features weapons and vehicles that were used to try and stop this newly formed government, and tells the story of how the people of Cuba would no longer be under control by any other nation, or by rogue groups within their own country. This is a museum for the people of Cuba. With that in mind, be aware that all information presented in the museum will be in Spanish. Although you can gather and infer a lot of information simply based on the exhibitions, without knowing the history, you may not fully grasp the theme of the museum before entering. With that said, simply seeing the host of relics from this time of conflict will pique your curiosity and quench your desire to get your dollar's worth. But if the museum doesn't do it for you, perhaps the views of the city will be worth your time and your money. So we have gone through what I assume is the majority of the museum and uh, it's not very big. I mean, there's lots of information um, for those who speak Spanish. As you saw, there was a couple of vehicles and then there's a lot of information about the revolution and of course it focuses on Fidel Castro and the role that he played in the revolution. Um, but so far, one of my favorite things about the museum is actually the views. Located in the bell tower is the best view of the city. Here, you can get a sense of the landscape with 360 degree views. It's from here that you can see the beginning of the Escambre Mountains, where the men of the revolution came from. The dense tropical forests filled with hills are indeed a stunning sight. Today, the region is home to a large natural park called Topes de Coloyantes. Looking out over the city, you can see just how busy the streets of Trinidad are, and you are reminded of a stunning tropical location with tall palm trees dominating the central square. With Trinidad being one of the most touristic places we went to on the island, it wasn't a surprise to see many street vendors out each and every day. Streets lined with souvenir shops will appeal to those looking for a trinket to commemorate their travels. There's a lot to do in this small town. Be sure to check out the rest of the central square where you can see a handful of beautiful buildings as well as Playa Ancon, a beach just outside the city that won't disappoint. Interested in learning more about our journey through Cuba? Take this time to subscribe to our YouTube channel 
or visit us on our website for additional written material at joshuatravelguy.ca. Are you looking for something a little more hands-on? Why not join us for an excursion through Cuba for a truly authentic experience? Learn more about these and more on our website. Why not share the love? If you enjoyed the video, do us a favor and share it with a friend because together we can share the world.